think you should Hello everyone, this is Shinmay from Makeado Clinic. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and of course YouTube show. So today here we are having one another topic that is disc or the rotor. Which vehicle we have? We have GT535 Continental from Royal Enfield product. What is there special in this bike? Of course the braking systems. So which are the essential point in this bike or particularly why we have chosen this bike today because this has got floating disc what is the meaning of floating disc the disc which is having you know buttons or rivets or there are so many other numbers, you know, names people are keeping but these are called buttons or rivets the general you know in uh, normal bikes you must have seen all the fixed type of disc these are the fixed type of disc what is there in difference i mean what's the difference in between continental and this normal disc see both the discs are round shape of course there is no difference right but the fitment of this is totally different which is the one this has got no rivets as as compared you know you, you can see this in this disc there is no rivet in this disc this is there is a rivet or button so what is the difference in between fixed disc and floating disc floating disc is basically given to avoid lots of lots of vibration when you ride the bike second thing it avoids the distortion means warpage of the disc you know, just many any bikes you know which are having normal brakes or the normal disc which becomes you know bend or something when you ride why how because of the heat so the heat dissipation in this by in this particular disc is very fast there are so many other bikes available in the market which are having you know this kind of a disc so this is the best disc what royal enfield has from you know when they introduce this product in the market through continental so how to service what to service in this disc there is nothing apart from only one part but very essential but first of all let me you know introduce the actual disc concept how does it work and why the dissipation is very fast why there is a you know it's an anti vibrative disc or something why how it is absorbing all the vibrations and knots and you know uh, transferring all the vibration towards the brakes or a rider or bike and all those things see the rivets basically are fitted over here as you can see in this disc this foundation is different and this this disc plate is or the rotor is different right it is fitted with the help of these buttons or rivets see there are so many other companies in the market of course after, after market you know companies are there this the middle portion or the middle foundation you will get it in alloy and the main disc will be in either ss or special steel high quality high grade high carbon content steel so when you are applying the brake the heat is very very high tremendous you know you can't touch it of course you can prepare omelet on that so never touch the disc never use your try to you know check out whether the disc is hot when you have ridden the bike so when it is in hot condition the heat is going to get extract from the disc so it has you know it requires cooling as well so it expands so whenever it expands it basically you know tries to warp or tries to bend so the heat is not going to transfer to the foundation of this disc because there is one another spare part which is fitted in the middle of both the plates the foundation and the disc rotor is connected because of these buttons or rivets right so that is the reason heat is not going to transfer to the center portion or the foundation that is why the warpage will be very 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 less compared to your normal disc now what about the vibration when you press the brake the upper uh, the outer periphery which is the main rotor starts you know vibrating and the center portion is going to be like that stable only so it's, it starts like this way but that is in standstill condition when you are checking but when you are riding basically at that time the center portion vibrates a lot right so the vibration is not going to transfer towards the brake side or towards the rider side now in this brake what is the essential part which you have to check when you are servicing the brake apart from normal servicing of course last is what i in my previous video you must have seen that you have to use brake cleaner the liquid water which i showed you you know for cleaning the dust or you know greasy or oily surface from the surface so best is to use cleaner but before that you have to check all the rivets which are here flip side of the rotor so as you can see over here 
the rivets are locked with the help of either sir clip or say special locks so you have to check all the rivets whenever you are getting this this kind of a disc or the rotor uh, for the service when you are getting the bike according to that you have to check and you have to change your procedure so this locks has to be in perfect condition you have to check for any play you have to check vertical and horizontal play if there is any one of the uh, if you find you know any broken lock or something or if the lock is missing or something you get these locks in the market if it is if those locks are not available then definitely changing or replacement of this disc or the rotor is advisable never try to use the same rotor just to save some money because this is a matter of life and death situation brakes are very much important in any kind any any automotive you know product so this since this vehicle is a one of the high speed vehicle it's a cafe racer so of course you're going to ride at very high speed that means you must take care of the bike according to the you know spare parts what they have given you should know which spare part is you know very much important of course brake is one of them but this has got floating disc in normal condition if this was having you know non floating or a fixed type of disc of course only you will be checking if there is any warpage or something as you can see there are so many rivets you have to check all the rivets locks if any broken uh, part or something if any broken lock or rivet you have to replace if you are getting the lock if you, you if you are getting the button or if you are getting the rivets right so basically after changing those locks then you can go back for the ride so servicing of this particular rotor it's very easy the only thing is what method if you know the method you are all done if you don't know the method then you are absolutely halfway going through but not full way so servicing of this kind of a rotor is like not like normal bike what you are getting inside the bike because there are so many super bikes which are having this kind of a rotors there are so many companies who are manufacturing aftermarket uh, you know rotors those discs which are based on you know uh, rivets or the uh, buttons that is what we call is floating disc or the rotor thanks for watching and have a great day